Hi Libra, this is your April 22nd through April 28th weekly tarot reading. We'll have five separate spreads on this weekly reading. The first spread is going to be new love uh, coming into your life. Spread number two is for those of you who are already involved with somebody. In the third spread, we'll see if anybody wants to come back into your life. This week, uh, then we'll talk about your work, your business, and your finances. And then we'll wrap things up with what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, share, and subscribe to support this channel. This first spread is a new love this week. We have the Tower, clarified by the Sun. Then we have uh, the Wheel of Fortune. We also have the King of Wands, clarified by the Ace of Cups. In the potential outcome, we have the Eight of Wands with the uh, Queen of Swords and the Chariot. And we have the Page of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Uh, we also have Cancer and uh, Scorpio on the table. This is one interesting reading, Libra. We start with three major Arcana cards. <laughs> Three, and they seem a little bit random, to be honest with you. But if if we um, give it a thought, I guess we can probably make something out of it. But we do have that page of once on the bottom of the deck. It's a card of a message, right? It's a card of somebody maybe flirting with you, maybe talking to you, cracking jokes with you. And I think this page of once is coming from this king of ones kind of in the middle right there. The king of ones is clarified by the ace of cups. So that's the person you're actually dealing with. The king of ones could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or somebody with a lot of fire in their chart. If they're not a fire sign, this person could be somebody who's like a leader, somebody who's easy to get up and go, somebody who could be spontaneous, right? Then we start with the tower. The first card I came out is the tower. <laughs> could be a Scorpio you're dealing with. The tower is clarified by the sun. The sun is a Leo card. And then it's immediately followed up by the Wheel of Fortune. Right? Three major arcana cards. So the tower could be something maybe breaking down. Hopefully not, but I'm just uh, reading the cards. Right, The tower could be something going uh, not as uh, not as you planned. And maybe this king of wands is going to come in and help you solve this Whatever this issue is, whatever this issue is, you know, during Mercury retrograde, things do break down. And we're still kind of sort of wrapping, wrapping up Mercury retrograde this week, right? I think it's over on the 24th, but then there's still a post-shadow period. So it's, it's, it lingers around for a, li a little bit longer than the date that it's actually over on. So perhaps with the tower, something may break down, break down, and this King of Wands will help you fix it, will help you eliminate that issue. For others of you, the tower, uh, if it's not a Scorpio you're dealing with, if nothing is breaking down, maybe this King of Wands shows up out of the blue, you know? Maybe with the tower card, um, they just offer you to go somewhere. I do see you going somewhere eventually with this person. All right. I always say never, ever, ever go anywhere with strangers. But perhaps if you get to know this person, you guys can go at some point in the future. But uh, maybe the tower is just simply you have plans for, for this week. You know what you're going to be doing, Libra. But when this uh, King of Wands shows up, those plans can you know fly out the window because... Uh, this King of Wands will offer you a different plan. <laughs> and the plan could be spend the rest of, of your lives together or something like that. The Tower is clarified by the Sun. If this King of Wands is a Leo, it kind of makes sense, right? Because the Sun is a Leo major arcana card. If they're not a Leo, maybe the Sun is some sort of a realization, right? Because the Sun could be a card of clarity. And at the same time, the Sun is the happiest card in the deck. So the Tower is clarified by the happiest card in the deck. That's what's a little bit weird here. All right. And then the Wheel of Fortune, the next card over, again, it could be travel. Perhaps you meet this person online and they're at the distance from you. It's not going to be a problem. They'll come see you, right? The d distance is not going to be a problem. But at the same time, the Wheel of Fortune um, is a start of a cycle, right? And it's a very fortunate cycle, hence the, the word fortune in its name. And uh, yeah, it, it could be like a very fortunate turn of events for you. Right, with this uh, Wheel of Fortune and the, the King of Wands themselves is clarified by the Ace of Cups. It's a great card to have as a clarifier. That's what they will feel for you very quickly. Right, they may tell you they love you on the first or second date or something like that. Right, they could be falling madly in love with you and uh, they will share that with you. Perhaps that's what's that's what the tower is in this case. But yeah, the Ace of Cups is genuine, true, authentic love. In the potential outcome, we have the Eight of Wands with the Queen of Swords and the Chariot. 
Um, you're the Queen of Swords here, I think we all agree. And the, the Queen of Swords is surrounded by the two fastest cards in the deck. Right? The Eight of Wands and the Chariot, those are the two fastest cards in the in the deck. Alright, the Eight of Wands, by the way, is also the Cupid's Arrows card, so maybe the Cupid is definitely having the best week ever, striking maybe both of you. But uh, like I said, it's a, it's a trouble card, and so is the Chariot. The Chariot, by the way, could be a Cancer you're dealing with, but the Chariot is also a card of moving forward and not looking back. Perhaps this uh, Ace of Cups is mutual, and you're just moving forward. And uh, again, like I said, the tower is just huge change of plans. All right, so I think this will gain momentum, right? The, the Wheel of Fortune is also a pretty speedy card, right? Um, but um, yeah, it's, I think it's going to be a little bit shocking and a little bit overwhelming for you, Libra. But uh, I, I think you definitely have a chance of making something together with this person. Alright, really happy for you, Libra. Congratulations. If you are already in a relationship or married, uh, Libra, this part is for you. We have the Hierophant, Justice, the Three of Pentacles, Clapped by the Four of Wands, and we have Temperance on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Taurus, uh, Sagittarius, or absolutely any zodiac sign. Well, this is a very calm <laughs> reading, very calm reading. Right? I don't know if you just watched the first spread, the new love spread. That one was really fast, with three fast cards in it. This spread is the other way around. This spread is actually talking about remaining calm. Right? Temperance on the bottom of the deck is a card of patience. It's a card of healing. With temperance, nobody is in a hurry. Nobody is ever in a hurry with a temperance card. Right, and uh, we have you here, Justice. Justice is uh, one of your major arcana cards, right? It's always a good sign to have your own major arcana card in your own reading. And we start with the Hierophant. Hierophant could be a Taurus, you know, but the Hierophant could be interpreted so many different ways. Together with the Three of Pentacles on the right side of the Justice card, it's doing something together that has to do with the Hierophant. Because the Three of Pentacles is a card of doing something together with um, your person, maybe with the whole family, or maybe friends can also participate in this, or some other people, right? And the Hierophant is what it has to do with. So, <laughs> the Hierophant could be a card of a family, your existing family, right? Uh, the Hierophant could be a card of education, it, it could be a card of religion, it could be a card of spirituality, it could be a card of um, something formal, something official, all right? And uh, you're doing something about it or within it with that Three of Pentacles. And the Three of Pentacles is classified by the Four of Wands, which is also a commitment of marriage card. Perhaps you as a whole family, you will just do something together, right? It could be religious for some of you. It could be educational for some of you or both. And again, with the Temperance card, it's like remain calm, take your time, don't rush this. That's, that's how it feels. Let me know in the comments down below what you're doing this week. But it's, it's like, it's definitely at least a couple of people doing something together. All right? Cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, uh, Libra, this week. Keep in mind, it doesn't have to be the most recent X. Also keep in mind, yeah, Mercury is still in retrograde a little bit this week. This is when more Xs than usual tend to resurface. So we got this um, King of Cups, clarified by the Page of Pentacles. We have Justice, the Knight of Swords, clarified by the Nine of Wands. And we have the Seven of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a water sign, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. So yeah, you got this King of Cups making an attempt to get back into your good graces with that page of pentacles. They may literally give you something or send you something or attempt to give you or send you something. Because <laughs> the page of pentacles could be something tangible, something you can touch, right? It could also be like tickets to a concert, tickets to a show, or they may just use that as an excuse to reach out to you. They may say something like, hey, I found this thing at my place that belongs to you. Do you want it back? Or something like that. Some kind of a bogus excuse. The rest of the spread, this is you not having anything to do with this person. Just as the next card over, it's actually your, one of your major arcana cards, right? But uh, it could be a card of an apology coming from them, but I think justice is simply, they're getting what they deserve with that justice card, right? They're getting what they deserve. Justice is the only major arcana card on the table. And uh, your reaction is um, outlined here by the Knight of Swords, clarified by the Nine of Wands. I think with the Knight of Swords, you're going to chase this person out of your life. 
You may even get upset with this person. Because of the nine of ones, this is a card of a wounded warrior. You've learned your lesson. You don't want to have anything to do with this individual. And that's why you're going to like lashing out. You're going to lash out a little bit with that knight of swords if they don't get the point across. So, yeah, you're done with this person. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, Lever, this week. We have uh, the Hangman, the Queen of Swords, clarified by the Five of Wands. We have the Seven of Wands and uh, the Six of Pentacles on the on the bottom of the deck. <laughs> you could be dealing with a Pisces. Um, I can interpret this two different ways. If you've been sacrificing yourself up until this point, I think people you work with are going to, or have started taking you gr for granted. They think that you would always say yes, you would always do all those favors, you would always stay late, work over the weekend, you know. Um, if that's been the case, I think you will have to let them know that it's not, it's not always the case. You know, you're, you're still a very nice person, you're still a very hardworking person, but you're not going to bend over, like, continuously. <laughs> Right. For others of you, um, you may have a revelation uh, this week that it's time for you to put your foot down. Right. Even if you haven't, if you haven't been sacrificing yourself, um, but uh, if they haven't promoted you in a while, you may have to show them that it's time to promote you or something like that. I do see um, fighting. Right. The five of ones and the seven of ones. These are not peaceful energies. Right, and the Five of Wands is clarifying the Queen of Swords. I assume you're the Queen of Swords. The Five of Wands is a card of a competition, conflict, right? It's a card of uh, trying to prove yourself, fighting for something, right? It's a card of a very heated discussion. And the, the Seven of Wands right next to the deck, I think that card also belongs to you. It's a card of, you know, putting your foot down. It's a card of defending yourself, defending your vision, defending your idea, or fighting off the competition. So this week it's it's not really all it's not about peace. It's about you fighting for for something, standing your ground or fighting off competition, right? If uh, if you're up for a promotion, don't just sit there, you know, thinking they'll give it to you. No, they will probably they will probably not give it to you. You'll have to fight for it. Or if you've been super nice, you people started taking advantage of that. So you may have to tell them, you know what? No, back off. I'm not coming in this weekend. I have, I came in the, <laughs> over the weekend for so many times. Ask somebody else. You, you know, it's that type of a vibe. That type of a vibe. I hope this makes sense. All right? Cool. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen uh, this week, Lever. We have the Ace of Wands, the Sun, uh, the King of Wands, clarified by the Nine of Cups. And we have the Eight of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Most of you already figured this one out. It's simply a repeat of the first spread. So yes, this is going to be something unexpected, right? Remember the tower card in the first spread? One of the ways to interpret it, the tower is something that happens unexpectedly. We have to change plans, or maybe uh, if something does break down, break down, hopefully not, but this King of Wands will help you out, right? So this King of Wands will parachute down on you, <laughs> and uh, your life will never be the same. Um, yeah, the, we have quite a few repeating cards, right? The Sun, the King of Wands, the Eight of Wands. It's a different deck, by the way. I use different decks for different spreads. So with the Eight of Wands, it could be a card of communication or travel. Or the Cupid's Arrows card. And all of this is happening with this King of Wands, right? And uh, the King of Wands is clarified by the Nine of Cups, which is a card of a wish come true. It's also a card of a personal satisfaction and fulfillment. The Nine of Cups could also be a card of some kind of an event. Some kind of an event. Any type of an event. And uh, we start with the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands belongs to the King of Wands. You see how the King of Wands is holding up a one? Yeah, that's the one we see in the Ace of Wands. The Sun is also here. If this person is a Leo, it makes sense. It's a Leo major kind of card. But at the same time, it's a card of clarity and it's the happiest card in the deck. It could also be someplace warm. You know, the Sun could be someplace warm. <laughs> and since we have the Eight of Wands, which could be a card of travel, maybe you're traveling this week or both of you can go someplace warm. All right. I don't know where you live. Maybe you'll go someplace even warmer. <laughs> okay, that's what you're not expecting. So yeah, uh, Libra, that's what I have for you for this reading for this week. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Libra, have a fantastic week.